link to online class, I think it will not work uh, now because uh, uh, this service is not available uh, for now. Uh, and uh, we will have our classes uh, later in the uh, Google Meet, uh, the same as today. Uh, I think we will have uh, one class per week uh, uh, and um, uh, this uh, uh, class will be uh, approximately like now, maybe we will start around nine uh, o'clock and then uh, we will um, continue till 11 or so. So uh, approximately in the same time as we should have it on uh, uh, the schedule. Uh, but uh, I don't um, require uh, you to um, be online during all the class because uh, basically our uh, class is a practical uh, or our discipline is a practical discipline. So um, there are not much information that we should discuss uh, or, uh, in, in our uh, work. Uh, it's more like uh, completing the task uh, tasks according to the handbook. Uh, so you can do it generally by yourself. Uh, with not uh, with just some of my consultations. Um, uh, sometimes I'm checking what uh, uh, the students already done and what part they uh, still have to do and checking the progress, but this is not uh, compulsory again because uh, the question of your progress, it's your own question. Uh, it's not something that is necessary to me or something like that. So. Uh, uh, if you have some questions, uh, uh, I uh, then uh, um, uh, I will try to answer. If um, not, then continue your work. Um, the biggest problem uh, in this class uh, for distance study for uh, working from home. Uh, it's that uh, um, it's quite difficult for you to get the necessary software. Um, and uh, as far as I know for now, and uh, as I uh, get from the system administrator, um, uh, there is no way the university can help you with this. Uh, the university has uh, um, its uh, educational licenses and uh, uh, this educational licenses, it's not possible to um, give you remotely. Um, uh, so uh, you cannot use these licenses to work with them from home. Um, and uh, there is no other solution as well uh, provided for now by the university. Um, so uh, uh, I don't know uh, what is the best solution uh, for us. Uh, 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 because even uh, on my computer, the KT system doesn't work very well. It, uh, you see, it started without the necessary tools and uh, these tools um, uh, are not available. Um, uh, so, uh, 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 the KT works well from the uh, laboratory where we have the classes, but uh, we cannot have the classes right now um, uh, because of this uh, distance study uh, questions. So, uh, what are possible options for us? First, you can attend the classes uh, generally in the university, so you are not uh, like forbidden or you're not uh, um, blocked from the university, so uh, you can attend uh, the classes in your own time. We just cannot make the general classes for all the students, but you can uh, come when you wish and uh, uh, you can um, uh, have this class uh, 
when do you uh, have the time? Uh, uh, at least in this way, you can get the uh, uh, the uh, access to the software. Uh, another option, uh, the same, uh, more or less uh, simple, is uh, that we just, you know, you can just wait uh, these uh, two or three weeks, so you will miss like uh, uh, four or six uh, classes, but um, uh, uh, then you will start from the beginning. And maybe you, uh, for now you will use this time for some other classes, uh, but uh, then you will start from the beginning and you will work with the uh, software here in the university. The problem is that uh, we cannot be sure that uh, the uh, uh, lockdown will end uh, in two or three weeks and uh, maybe uh, we will have to continue our uh, distance study. Um, the next option is uh, that uh, you can uh, use the software that you have. Uh, maybe you have some free software uh, from the internet, because I know that uh, some uh, um, software like Autodesk Inventor or something like that, uh, it's possible to uh, download uh, officially for free from their sites, uh, um, and uh, you can use that software uh, for basically similar tasks. So, if uh, you will choose to use some other software for the same tasks, I will try to help you, but I cannot. Uh, um, uh, say for sure that uh, I will help you with all the tasks because uh, I'm not uh, competent in all this, the possible 3D modeling software. So uh, with something I will help you, with something uh, no. Um, then uh, the last option is that you can uh, search the network and find some unofficial copies of KTE system. Um, this is uh, completely possible, but um, uh, of course, uh, I cannot insist uh, uh, on this, um, but um, uh, this is uh, as well uh, actual way to uh, complete this course and to complete this lab course. So uh, this is uh, uh, oh, all, all these solutions, uh, they have some compromises, so um, uh, they are not perfect, but uh, uh, we, uh, th this is all what we uh, can choose from. Maybe someone uh, has some other idea, I don't know. If there are no other ideas, then uh, you can choose from these ideas, from these solutions, and uh, choose what will work better for you. Uh, I will make a short review of uh, what uh, uh, our course will consist of. And uh, um, uh, you should uh, consider it uh, to understand that uh, if you will choose some other software and if you will work with some other software to perform the same tasks, um, then you have to uh, consider similar problems. You can, or you should consider similar tasks. Uh, you should show that you have done these tasks in the software that you uh, have chosen. Uh, and uh, definitely there you will not have step-by-step uh, uh, recommendations about how to do it. The recommendations that we have, they are not perfect as well, so the uh, the translation is not uh, an official translation issued uh, by the university and so on. It's just some um, like uh, 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 quick translation of the uh, in, uh, original book, um, but. Again, uh, it is here uh, the problem that uh, 
there are no other options. Um, so uh, let's uh, finish with the problems and let's start uh, considering what our course, course will include. First laboratory work is quite simple and uh, it's normally done uh, just during one class and um, uh, it's just some like getting in touch or getting familiar with the interface of uh, CATIA system. So uh, students normally study here how to uh, open files, save files, uh, create new files, um, how to uh, how to navigate through the model, how to rotate the view, uh, and uh, all these quite basic basic tasks. Uh, they are not very obvious in CATIA system. So. Uh, such uh, heavy systems as CATIA, Siemens, and Exxon, uh, or ANSYS, um, they have quite a uh, strange uh, interface uh, from the point of view of uh, like uh, uh, conventional user. Uh, and uh, that's why you have to spend a little time to get familiar with the interface. So uh, you should be able to insert bodies, uh, uh, open uh, new models, uh, copy models from one file to another, change the colors of the uh, or visual uh, view of the models, and so on. So uh, navigate through the project tree. So this is all possible in different uh, software. So it's not necessary to. Um, consider just KT here, but um, uh, you should understand that uh, this should be done as the first part. Uh, then the second uh, laboratory work is more about a two-dimensional drawing. It's dedicated to uh, sketching and uh, work with 2D curves on, or something like that. Generally, uh, sketches, they, uh, or the model of sketching or uh, creating models from sketches, it's uh, some approach that um, many systems are using for, uh, uh, or in, in their interface. Uh, so again, you can use different systems. And uh, most of the systems have uh, the option about uh, parametrical sketching. Uh, so you can set the parameters to the geometry, like constraints and uh, dimensions, and uh, uh, then the geometry will automatically adopt to satisfy these constraints. So this this is called par parametrical modeling and parametrical sketching, and this is what we have in our lab. Role. So you should be able to create such simple sketches. And then you should be able to create uh, more complex sketches. For example, like this, uh, the airfoil. Uh, here we have three airfoils uh, with the coordinates. And you should be able to create the points accordingly to these coordinates and uh, link these points with splines. So this is uh, uh, an option uh, with using spline curve or how to create the um, uh, airfoil using spline curves. Another option here is uh, uh, using conic curves. And uh, uh, generally conic curves, that they are not available in uh, uh, more or less simple systems, simple modeling systems such as um, uh, compass, uh, solid works maybe you will find them there if if it's so please show me uh, you will uh, uh, teach teach me a little bit in this direction uh, but uh, as far as i know uh, it's possible to use conic curves uh, just in uh, such systems as katia and simmons and x and so on um, so uh, if uh, you will not find this 
option in your system, then okay, you can uh, skip this part. It's uh, uh, not uh, compulsory, but you should understand that in uh, uh, advanced systems and then advanced models, uh, conics, cur conic curves, they are used quite widely, and this is quite uh, some kind of standard for aerospace uh, industry. Uh, then uh, you can use fillets and chamfers, um, uh, different options about mirroring, uh, bra uh, brake curves, uh, trim curves, uh, and so on. I think that uh, these operations, they are more or less obvious. Offsets as well. Uh, and then uh, in the end of this second lab block, you have some uh, tasks uh, that will uh, help you create some part of the real uh, aircraft uh, geometry. Here, for example, the join between uh, the uh, wing and uh, flap. So, with the bracket here, uh, you can try to. Uh, to make such picture, such parametrical drawing using the original geometry. So uh, uh, the uh, sec the third lab block is dedicated to so-called part design, what we call in uh, uh, CATIA part design, or in other systems as well. You, uh, you can find the term solid. Uh, model design. Uh, it means that we are creating the uh, objects like they can be milled or cast or uh, produced in any other way, but they are uh, like more or less solid parts, yeah, not sheet metal parts. I mean. uh, and they have more or less simple geometry. Basically, there are two operations that are used for in these uh, models, uh, like extrude and uh, uh, shaft operations. So sometimes they are uh, the shaft operation is called revolve or rotate or something like that. But uh, these operations they are available in many systems. Uh, as well, uh, there are some. Uh, uh, some uh, binary operations, or I mean, uh, the uh, operations like um, uh, removing some, or like unite, cut, uh, intersect, and uh, uh, something, some standard options about uh, creating the holes, the standard shapes. Uh, uh, so let's say that uh, these options, they are possible in different systems. As well, there is a option about, um, uh, here it's called rib, rib, rib geometry, or in fact, uh, you can as well find something like sweep along the guide or something, sweep geometry. Um, uh, so, it's just moving the uh, the same extrude of the uh, section, but along some uh, some line or some curve. So, and uh, uh, the final operation in 3D modeling or solid modeling, it's a uh, uh, so-called multi-section uh, operation. Then you can sweep along two guides through several sections and make more or less complex geometry. Uh, so there are as well some options about editing of the geometry, like different fillets, chamfers as well. So this is all you can do. Uh, so for example, you can create such bracket in uh, the system that you choose and uh, consider uh, these options like extrude, uh, shaft, uh, uh, edge blend, and so on. 
so uh, as the result, as the, or in the end of the uh, third lot talk, you have an option, or you have the a task uh, to create some real part, uh, for example, tip of the uh, uh, control road, or maybe some uh, cutter, uh, or maybe something like this. Uh, so, uh, uh, you should choose one object, one part, and show that you can create this part using the operations that you studied. Uh, so uh, the fourth lab work here, it's uh, a separate task again. Uh, it considers another module of uh, CATIA system generative shape design. And uh, this module is dedicated to so-called surface modeling. So instead of having the uh, uh, it's instead of having the uh, um, uh, solid part, here we're creating mostly the surfaces. But uh, the tools to create the, sur the surfaces, they are more like uh, complex, they are more um, uh, comprehensive uh, and uh, have more options in them and so on. Uh, that's why uh, basically theoretical surfaces of the aircraft, they are created as a surface, as in generative shape design, and then they are uh, 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 translated, if it's necessary, they are converted into solids. So, um, uh, I don't know uh, what particular operations you will be able to do in the system that you will choose, uh, but uh, uh, you should try to do as much as possible about these uh, tasks. And uh, here are two uh, particular examples about uh, the geometry, uh, standard geometry of the aircraft. It's the geometry of the uh, stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, uh, as an example of uh, wing or any aerodynamic uh, surface geometry. And uh, uh, the geometry of the engine nestle. And engine nestle in this case stands for any double curvature surface geometry such as fuselage or engine nestles or something uh, similar to it. Uh, so, uh, let's say that engine nacelles uh, here, they giving you the idea how the fuselage should be modeled normally. Uh, because uh, <laughs> I have seen many options about uh, uh, how the students modeling the fuselages, wings, and so on. Um, Sometimes I think that it's better if I would not see such options. Uh, so uh, pay attention that uh, you should try to create some comparable geometry, some similar geometry in the system that you are considering. Uh, if you would consider CATIA, then in CATIA. If you consider some other system, then in that system. But you should. But you see, the purpose of our course it's not to study CATIA or any other system. It's uh, to study how to create uh, the units of the aircraft, or how to create the models of the units uh, of the aircraft units, and. Uh, uh, how to do it in more or less uh, standard way that is uh, appropriate for um, card applications. Because uh, you can do the same tasks using 3D Max software and using some um, uh, computer standards, computer you know, graphics standards, 
the problem is that in this case, you will not have the exact dimensions of your geometry. So your geometry will be quite, uh, quite abstract. It's, it will not co correspond to some particular uh, dimensions. And uh, in the end, it will be difficult to manufacture. But maybe as well, it's still possible. I know that some people modeled uh, elements of the aircraft in such software uh, that uh, for 3D design as Reno 3D, uh, like Reno Seros, uh, but just Reno. Um, and um, uh, in uh, oh, they they printed uh, the. Uh, parts and uh, uh, made at least some small models of the aircraft uh, using that 3D model. So uh, maybe things are changing and uh, generally it's not compulsory to use some you know, top of the uh, level and uh, heavy 3D systems uh, right now to, to, to make everything in aircraft industry. But for now, these systems, they are still like standard in that, in, in that industry. Siemens NX and Katia, they stay uh, the main systems in uh, aerospace. Um, so, uh, the fuel slot work is dedicated uh, to some uh, simple um, assembly tasks as well assembly of uh, any parts can be considered as a separate modeling task. Um, it has no so, such complex geometry as in previous case, but as well, you have to get some uh, options, get some idea how to arrange the parts one and all another, how to put the uh, fasteners into, in the parts and so on. And we do this in the fifth slab block normally. Um, and the sixth slab block give you better understanding about simple aircraft. In this case, it's glider uh, creating. So glider has no engine nacelles, but in all the other terms, it's similar to the normal airplane. Um, so you may see here the basic idea how it should be created. A little bit simplified option, but it's still, uh, it's a good step toward uh, aircraft modeling. And in the end, we have here the uh, example of uh, bracket. Uh, um, uh, it was not considered an, as a compulsory part of the labs at, at all, so it's just some example of 3D model. Uh, so uh, now uh, let's consider your questions. Do you have any questions about the content of this laboratory work course that we have in the um, handbook? No questions, everything more or less clear. If it's so, uh, let's uh, continue. Because uh, again, I'm uh, just uh, uh, explaining, uh, I want to explain um, how this course was conducted normally. Uh, I don't know how we will uh, make it this year because uh, of these uh, um, uh, limitations of offline uh, edu or, uh, online education, uh, uh, distance education and so on. But we should try to make it as it should be. And uh, I hope that you will uh, um, do your best to, to, to do it, to, to do this course. Uh, and uh, in the original version, uh, the um, 
the course, the course is divided in two parts. Uh, first part was dedicated to these Slav dogs that are listed in the book and that have some explanation about uh, uh, what you should do and what consequence you use and what dimensions, what curves and so on. But in the second part of the course, uh, students uh, uh, were supposed to make the models of their uh, aircraft uh, that they did for their projects before. I know that uh, you have the difficulties about your previous projects and so on, and uh, you have no geometry for your aircraft. Uh, that's why uh, such, in such cases, uh, before we consider it were, uh, an option to uh, make the model of um, uh, any aircraft one of your prototypes. Uh, for you, maybe it will be the only option. So you have to choose some prototype and make the model of that prototype. Let's consider how um, it could look like. Um, Uh, three views of one seven three seven, and let's consider the pictures. Any questions? Because I see uh, someone lifted the hand. Is there any question? About the consultations, I see the question in the uh, chat. Uh, uh, well, uh, maybe you have no micro microphone or something like that. Uh, okay, write in, into the chat because uh, uh, now I'm reading. Um, so, uh, definitely you can have the consultations. Uh, you can come uh, for consultation uh, in any time when I'm here. Uh, just uh, oh, uh, write me into the uh, uh, telegram when you wish to come and I will tell you if I'm here or not and uh, we will arrange this sometime. You cannot make, you know, a big group consultation or general consultations for the students because we cannot like uh, make uh, the classes for many students right now. Uh, but uh, students are not forbidden to come to the university. So, uh, personally, for one student, uh, I can make a consultation. Let's arrange the time. Don't hesitate to write me into uh, Telegram about the time when we can arrange the consultation and we will do it well. Uh, if it's necessary, uh, just uh, share share the uh, uh, or my my number, uh, and uh, everybody is welcome to write uh, to me about their questions. Uh, we still have the problem about your um, uh, summer practice. I mean that uh, some of the students have not submitted their uh, summer practice after the third year. And uh, please uh, do, uh, do this because uh, uh, you should make this during this semester and uh, as soon as it possible. Uh, I uh, have written in the chart the, uh, my number, uh, so, uh, if it's necessary, write me to the telegram and we will arrange the consultation for any questions, for any subject. Um, I mean, that I conduct. Uh, so, um, uh, but uh, I will consider the uh, your questions uh, separately. 
let's say that uh, uh, if it's not compar uh, directly to, related to this class and our uh, material right now, uh, let's consider them uh, a little bit later. Uh, so those who lifted the hand, uh, please write your questions in the... Uh, um, so um, you can uh, write your questions in the chart or you can ask your questions, unmute yourself and uh, ask because uh, I cannot unmute you. Uh, you can do it just yourself. Uh, then uh, we have stopped on the question about uh, um, your aircraft, uh, your aircraft uh, um, uh, modeling. Uh, let's say that uh, instead of uh, using your uh, aircraft geometry, uh, you can use any picture from the internet. It's better if the picture will be with dimensions. Oh, at least like this, or maybe something else. Um, oh, maybe like this. So. Just uh, uh, find the picture. Uh, download it and consider how can you uh, make the same model with the same dimensions, same shapes, same proportions. So uh, this will be your initial data for your uh, aircraft. Of course, if you would have your general view of your airplane, it would be easier to, to do. But uh, I don't know if you have it or if you can use it. Uh, the problem is that uh, uh, I don't see well how you will do the uh, uh, bachelor project without your aircraft general view and without such, such part, because this is something that you supposed to have, uh, that uh, it, it should be available before you uh, starting the uh, bachelor project itself. So, uh, but this is already another problem, another question about how we should uh, work about the uh, projects. Uh, so you see, there are, uh, there are uh, many sites that are corresponding to different airplanes, and you can find the information and just uh, straightly use this information to your um, aircraft uh, model. And uh, what I can say is that the model uh, can have several stages and uh, accordingly to the stage, or accordingly to the quality of the model, we normally set the mark for your uh, course or for this course. Um, uh, so, for example, you can uh, model the wing as like two profiles and the surface with, uh, uh, between them, uh, fuselage as conic, uh, cylindrical and conic part, stabilizers again as two profiles and uh, um, surface between them, uh, and maybe no engine nacelles at all, or just simple uh, cylindrical engine nacelles. Uh, and this will be some basic model. Let's say that it will be enough for good mark, uh, around 75, 80, so you can get in this range. Uh, if you wish something better, like uh, 85, uh, 
Then your model should have more or less appropriate shapes, so like the ring should have the tips, uh, stabilizer should have the tips, um, uh, the uh, uh, fuselage should have at least not conical, but some curved nose part, tail part, uh, and uh, the same stabilizers. Maybe uh, you can put uh, the fairings or something like that. Maybe you can put there uh, the uh, lines for the uh, doors and emergency exits, uh, eliminators, and so on. Stabil uh, the flaps and uh, ailerons and sl slats and so on. Uh, so this will be for good mark. Um, and uh, if you wish to have excellent mark, there should be uh, at least some models of the uh, fairings uh, of the windscreen with appropriate shape of the nose part, appropriate shape of the um, uh, uh, engine nacelles, engine pylons, and so on. And as well, all the others, other questions should be uh, considered. Uh, I mean, uh, which I mentioned for the previous models. So this will be more or less fine model, and uh, it's it will be for ninety ninety with something more. Uh, and uh, this is what I'm saying that we uh, made for the previous. Uh, uh, years for the previous uh, students, um, like in such way we built our course in previous times. How it will be now, uh, it's difficult to say because I don't know basically what uh, a particular solution you will choose for your uh, study. Uh, because I cannot propose really good solution how to uh, consider this uh, course uh, in a distance way. So you have different options, and please uh, uh, choose what which option is better for you. Uh, for now, let's arrange our future classes in the similar time, like nine o'clock uh, on Tuesday. We will meet. And approximately till 11, we have the time for consultations and um, the uh, uh, considering your questions. Uh, now, uh, if you have some questions, let's see. If no questions, let's finish for now and uh, see you next week. Think till the next week in which way you will work and uh, uh, definitely uh, I'm ready to answer your questions but uh, just uh, like uh, to get uh, just uh, in the way in the uh, in line with the other questions as well so for now I'm waiting or right now I'm waiting for your questions if no questions, then uh, later you, sh you will have to wait when I will have the time to answer your questions. No? So now I hear no questions, see no questions in the... Um, mm -hmm. uh, chat except uh, a few of them I will uh, ans uh, answer try to get what uh, do you mean and answer your question what if we already have our dimensions uh, you mean uh, dim dimensions of your airplane of course use that dimensions and uh, uh, work with that model it's the best solution uh, I just said that in case if you have no such uh, dimensions, if you have no such option. So anyway, uh, this is all not the question of right of the uh, uh, nearest time. 
this is the question of the second second part of our course and uh, first you should consider the tasks that you have in the uh, course handbook so try to make similar tasks similar uh, things uh, so your uh, report which you should upload into this uh, section um, it should uh, uh, consist of uh, six lab works similar to the to those from the handbook and uh, uh, one lab work or one practical task for for your airplane so let's say seven parts which will have uh, appropriate place uh, what uh, should we choose any of our prototypes to construct the three view. Uh, again, you shouldn't construct the three view. In this uh, uh, course, you will have to model the aircraft surface. Uh, you can use three views of any airplane. Uh, better, of course, if you will use your own aircraft geometry uh, but this is not the only idea uh, if you have no such geometry you can use any of your prototypes if you have no your prototypes just uh, consider your uh, uh, just uh, find one in the internet it's not not difficult Have I answered the questions? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Uh, till the next time, please consider what do we have in the matter. Consider what kind of the uh, uh, materials or what kind of the uh, um, uh, software you can get from the internet, like for student uh, license for for free. I uh, uh, speaking about the uh, uh, different software, like uh, Autodesk Inventor or something like that. Uh, uh, consider if you will be able to find the Katia that you can use in the intern, uh, from the internet. So um, consider which tools you will use for this course. And uh, later, uh, like, like uh, based on these solutions that you will find, uh, next week we will consider better in which way we will continue our work. Well, so, if there are no other questions uh, for now, uh, let's finish and uh, let's continue our work separately. Uh, so, till the next week, I will send uh, you the uh, uh, links to this course or uh, links to such meeting. And uh, we will meet in the similar way. Well, mm. oh, okay. If uh, there are no other questions, let's finish. See you.